So we'll open it up to uh, anybody that wants to take the floor. Uh, also, if you can say your experience with uh, NBA NBA mobile games, that'll help put things in perspective with where you're where you're uh, where you're coming from. Uh, I mean, I played pretty much all the basketball mobile games that you can really think of, probably. But this is definitely my best, the best one in my opinion. I agree, dude. Why is it the best for you, dude? I think everyone everyone loves it too, but it's hard to say why. At least for me, it's hard to say PvP. why. Yeah, it's that's player versus player versus just playing robots all day. That's just gets <laughs> very boring. Why hasn't that been introduced earlier? Like, I feel like all the NBA mobile games should have that as the bare minimum. No, I agree. I don't know why. I think most of the mobile games they just don't put as much effort. Like, two K has the big game. NBA Live has like Madden Mobile mainly to focus on, so that's mm. probably what it is in my opinion. Yeah, and Madden doesn't even have it too, the PvP part, so it's just like turn based, like after each match. Yeah, but yeah, Madden, I don't know what they, but it's so many people that just enjoy playing Madden. So mm. I don't really think they care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your favorite thing um, outside of the PvP? Because I think PvP should be like the standard, honestly, dude. It should be the standard. Like real time player versus player. No way. I just sold a Julius Randle. No way. What are you talking about? You sold him. I know. I sold. That's like like when you sell a Julius Randle, it's like the best thing. It's better than selling like buying a KD. <laughs> uh, no, I'm so surprised. You never know. I mean, some some people need a emergency power forward. You know what I mean? And uh, for their five v fives, you know. And speaking of five v fives, yeah. have, so does everyone? Is everyone here playing three v threes only? Mainly, I mean. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. No one else yeah. plays five fives. Not they are so interesting to me, oh, man. Well, not this season, not for me, no, not this season. Yeah, you think next season you will? Oh, uh, definitely. Because the, yeah. the rewards are just too good to kind of pass up. But this season, I wasn't really focused on it. Yeah, yeah I just well, did for the gym rewards. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, why haven't you been playing it more? Uh, for me, um. The 5v5 aspect isn't that fun. Um, and it's kind of a little bit sluggish to play against. Um, everybody kind of plays like a certain play style. Um, and if you don't have certain players, you can't really compete, I feel like. So I just, yeah. and I'm just a, I'm just a 3v3 player, so. Yeah, I agree with you. I tried to fight fives, man. It was hard to kind of, it doesn't hook you in as much as 3v3s for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, same. 5v5 just not very fun compared but, to 3v3s but i do see the potential though i do see the potential uh because it forces you to kind of like build up your roster your lineup of players mm -hmm. and i think that's kind of like the main goal of nba infinite where they want you to get these legendary cards to build up your ultimate team and then play in the 5v5s all together yeah they're mm -hmm. trying to push they're trying to push like the dynasty a lot yeah but i, I think want think i want it to grow appeal, like the biggest appeal, like like um, KHN said, it's like the PvP, but not just that. It's like the fact that you can play with your friends. Mm, this is yeah. the first like mobile basketball game or sports game that you can play with your friends, right? Like I don't think I've had more fun than any game than playing with Bobby and Lil B, right? Like even mm -hmm. though Lil, Lil B enrages us, we're still having fun, right? Right, like, right, right. Playing with other content creators, like making content is so much easier. Like uh, I'll yeah. play with Cooper today. I played with FTG the other day. You know, we all we all grew up playing basketball IRL, right? Or played a little bit. Like yeah. I, there's no other. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like NBA Infinite just captures that competitive on the courts in real time experience especially with the mics on and everyone has their own personalities like that on the same court it's 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 just it's just so good i kind of uh, want... to go, go back to sorry uh, my bad my bad uh, no, you go back to hitman's points um about like the 3v3 game like uh like page said like um uh, a few of us have played like the on the 3v3 basketball scene for a couple of years like dunk nation mm -hmm. uh basket rio Three and three freestyle mobile, freestyle. even the freestyle mobile on uh the freestyle on PC. Like it's it's a couple uh basketball three v threes out here that's really good. I've been over the years been carrying the community, but this is like the first one that's been NBA focused and it's actually has like the potential to be like the best out of them, in my opinion. You, do you think a lot of the community communities from those other three v three basketball style games are in NBA Infinite right now? For sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I for think sure. so too. Yeah, they are, but a lot of them are 
kind of hesitant because uh, it's not again like you said. Just the, the main thing is not a lot of content in the game, and the game is really kind of simulation based instead of arcade like those games are. Like those games have like players that have these crazy like NBA Street esque type of moves like you guys were talking about earlier, mm-hmm. but like NBA Infinite is more like two K if you if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's it's more realistic right. realistic moves. Everybody has the same moves. Even though some people have some signatures, exclusives, and stuff like that, it's just more like everybody has the same type of moves, and some people don't have it, some people do have it. So you yeah. have to kind of be like smart with how you play. But mm-hmm. it's yeah, it's 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 definitely people that's coming over. Mm-hmm. Do you guys so have? Ex- in, sorry, in those, sorry, I want to know. Like in those games, is there a lot of, lot of events? Yes. Yeah. For sure. Okay, okay, that's good. Events like what? So again, it, it'll be it'll be events like um. Again, like new players, new players every other week, they'll recycle the new players until they drop the the new one that'll maybe shake up the meta. Oh. And then they'll have events to help you get clothes or events to help you uh, do it like a set sometimes to get those players or help you get more gems, like stuff like that. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I see that. What modes are there in the 3v3s? Uh, it's, your, it's your typical, like, um, Again, uh, like like the eleven point modes, modes like that, um, one v ones, customs. Yeah. It's just it's the typical stuff like that. Uh, they're not they're definitely not innovative in terms of that. Uh, oh, okay. I think I think NBA Infinite is probably going to be more innovative with that because they have like three points and dunk contests and stuff like right, that. Right. Right. So uh, yeah, they're not they're not that far ahead on that. Do you think three v three courts? I don't know why I'm pushing for three v three full court, man. I just love the full court action, dude. Do you think that could be possible? Yeah, uh, I I can't speak for anybody else, but I don't I don't know how it would I don't know how it would work. I feel like Hitman earlier hit it on the net where he was like the game would be more just fast break oriented, whereas mm-hmm. now it's just who who which like character is the fastest now, and mm. can I put that on my team instead of like again if you put a Rudy on the full court, yeah, he Lopez compared to a, a, a AD, like those type of things matter when you feel like in the, in the full court yeah. team compared to a half court. Because it, so. it could be just constant trade picking. I feel yeah. like yeah, I feel like when you're doing full court, it would be like less like two K three v three full court. It would be like just more because I feel like it w- it wouldn't be as smooth as two K, and it would be also just straight up running and gunning people just running back and forth over and over again. It would be kind of just like in the cycle. I feel like, unless they made this 3v, like the full court kind of smaller, but I still don't think it will work compared to just half court. Right. I, I would guys... like to see 5v5 full court. Like, real yes. people. That'd yeah, be that, would be, that would be cool. You, but yes. did you guys know on console, 2K console, there's full court 3v3s, right? Yes, there yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, but they, they don't have the same issues, right? No, it's with that i feel like i mean there is fast breaks but once they score they inbound the ball if they, if they did inbounding the ball then i mean yeah it might work but i just, would just have, yeah. it would have a lot of factors in it i so i bring up the game modes because i feel like that would be a natural way along with the new courts just to expand the gameplay expand the yeah, types of games to courts. play yeah because uh, I said it before with COD Mobile, how they're they're so successful um, that it just feels like almost like twenty games in one, and it's just mm-hmm. different different ways of playing, almost the same game. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. with NBA Infinite, I think that three D full court is just a natural way to expand it, but not break it. Like as in, like it won't divide the lobby, the queue times with people just trying to look for, let's say. 2v2s or 5v5s or something it'll still keep the game mm-hmm. even having it featured for like one weekend i don't know every month to have full court only you know yeah that would be cool yeah yeah it'd be cool sure. but i still think that the core problem right now is not not the fact that people bored the gameplay they're bored mm-hmm. of the players are playing with yes right? and like mm-hmm. like the, the auction house being like 15 percent. you lose the skill manual it makes it hard for people rotating it so people are getting bored super fast because they're like, oh, there's nothing for me to do than just use the same guy that I own. I feel like so, they need to add more players or just a little bit faster because mm-hmm. I think the coding, I feel like they need to add lower ranked players that take less mm-hmm. code just like just to have some extra things like for people to do 
Friday. Because it's like it's just like less things to do in the game. You can't mm -hmm. like it's just three v three over and over again. It needs yeah. some other things. Yeah, also, also to add on, also to add on to Hitman's uh, point and like the conversation we, I think we had like in the live stream, what was it yesterday? Mm -hmm. Um, we were talking about um like experimentation and it's it's again people want to experiment. Like I think everybody wants to experiment. New everybody cards, wants right? To try to try a Luca. Everybody wants to try Kawhi. Yeah. Yeah. But right. is it is it smart to experiment when you're a free to play player that doesn't have as many coins to spend? Right. And you're trying to you're trying to grind rank. You don't want to lose your time, right. um, or waste your time when you're trying to grind rank. When you have mm -hmm. the little time that you do on these players that you know you're not going to be as good with, or these players right. take until R six for them to you know really peak or come into their their full potential. So that's why I was like, uh, I'm like yeah. I don't really know about experimenting, even though these players might actually really be good. Can you, can you really afford to? Yeah, hey, 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 what's the word? Hey, cool. What y'all on? What y'all on? Wait, hold on. We're, we're on the topic on, of NBA on. Infinite. But real quick, uh, the, yeah. the answer to that with um, trying new cards and maybe it might not work out is the club club trial cards, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's a big thing. Right that's now, that's, that's huge. That's yeah, that's so if you end up loving that card after trying it for like two hour limit or whatever, you can end up going for it. I think that's a... A reasonable, you know, a good solution, though. Yeah, but I feel like, like, no, let me, let me look at my bad, my bad, my bad. Funny welcome, by the way, man. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it's okay, man. We're, we're just sharing our experiences so far with season one. For those just joining the yeah. live stream, um, we're just talking about, you know, reflecting on the season one because it's been a, a wild ride with just, you know, the demands of like all the, the, the NBA Infinite mobile community. Like our expectations mm -hmm. are so high, you know what I mean? Like we, we want the want it to be the best right off the gates, right off the right off, right off the global release. And um, it, I think it has a huge potential. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I think the, the foundation, at least with the gameplay, you know, at its, at its foundation of its mechanics and uh, on the court things, it's just so fun, right? There are mistakes and flaws yeah. and all that, but it, we can all agree that it's just still solid fun at its core, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, it'd be cool if they let us trial players like in a trading mode. You know, like, yeah. oh, you can't own it. Yeah. You don't have to own it. Cool. Mode yeah. use these players. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. And then put like a bot in there, you know? Yeah. I feel so like, dope. I feel like, even if, I feel like if they, if they didn't let us be ranked seven, but I feel like that might be too much. No, let just like whatever ranked. rank, just like try it out in like, like yeah, uh, just rank like, yeah, like you can rank. probably ever rank, like you can pick a rank. Yeah. yeah. It's like, just yeah. try it out. Right, you're not playing against a real yeah. person. You're just you're like, oh, I like this style of play. You know, maybe I want to play it more. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think the training has so much potential. Yeah. yeah. What about coaches? Have you guys experimented with coaches yet? I like coaches. I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't really like, I don't care about it too much. Like, they, they work in three v three, huh? Yeah. 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 But I don't really don't care about it too much. Like, my... oh, yeah, I don't care. But I need to. The only thing I need to do with coaches is just get like. With coach with three point plus, I mean, yeah. once you get that, yeah. you're pretty much set. Plus, it's like, um, do you want to spend diamonds on the coach or on players? Yeah, players? that's that's why I'm not. Mm. That's why I'm not even going for it right now. Mm. I know the coaches will be um, a big part in the in the summer update or in the future, whatever, because uh, they will also like somehow they'll have like playbooks for these coaches or something. I heard, I overheard someone saying that. You guys know? Do you guys play? Did you guys play uh, in the beta? By the way. Yeah, I played both betas. Right, so so they That's had a lot of things with coaches, didn't they? Or with they? With... Yes. Yeah. And how was that? Yeah, they, but they, they, they definitely uh, upgraded it way past from when it from what it was, obviously. But uh, uh, back then, it was just just as impactful. But the the I can't really say that the um I can't really compare this version of the game to the betas because the first beta basically gave you everything. Like you like basically you could get R seven characters within a week because they were giving out the, oh. uh, diamonds and gold. Right. And it wasn't, it wasn't like packs. It was just like they're giving you diamonds and gold. You can use it on the trade market and get coaches. They were just giving it to you. And then the second beta, they they took it. They took it away from everybody. Now you, they came to kind of give you packs and stuff to kind of get into. But right. uh, yeah, the coaches now is is definitely the best version of it. I do think mm. that there's a lot of um, nuance to it that we haven't gotten to yet because a lot of people are just focused on trying to get their players upgraded. But three v three is yeah, yeah. 
but yeah, but I again, it gives a lot of great attributes because I've seen uh, a bunch of people that I play with actually have good coaches and it gives you like sixty plus three, and right. that could bring that could bring somebody that can't shoot or is on the verge of being a good shooter and make them a decent shooter. So uh, it's just little stuff like that, and it, and it gives you like little badges and stuff. So if you have like a pick and roll master, it brings it to level four and it brings it to level five, like little stuff like that. Wait, did you say that a coach can give you sixty plus three? Yes, yeah, it can give you like sixty plus on any of your attributes that whatever whatever attributes you end up getting yeah. from it when you upgrade it. It's random, yeah, it's but if you get lucky, I yeah. Think it's the yes, plus sixty is like a whole like two level ups yeah, on that skill. Great, yeah. Like, well, that was the buff to Jason Tatum. He got sixty-three point, right? Think yeah, about that. Now he now he can shoot crazy. Yeah. Yeah. What modes I, were I, there? Oh, sorry. Go on. I have one quick question. Hmm? Do we think that the game changers pool, like the tickets, do you think they'll carry over to the next se season, or will they be gone? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay. If cool, they don't, cool. they'll be rights. Yeah. I'll be. I'll they be better. <laughs> I'll be <laughs> riding. Yeah. <laughs> for, I'm for, mad because I, I, I DRL brought up a point. This KD, the Sun KD, it's probably gonna be a prime collection. Yeah, I just thought about. I uh, had three of, I had three of the KDs, but I sold them. Um, I, I just want to have him. Uh, uh, have him. Has anyone in here been to the focus groups, IRL or online? I've been to the, I've been to at least four focus groups over the like, the span, like the year span. Okay, just wondering. Uh, did you like it? Did you have a good time? Oh yeah, just uh, talking to yeah, talking to the devs and talking to some of the other players. Uh, yeah. yeah, so they they, they they definitely were open to hearing all types of feedback, right? Just like my group. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's honestly honestly the we could talk about the gameplay and we could talk about all the stuff about this game, but I think the best thing about this game is that the devs, because a lot mm -hmm. compared to a lot of these other three v three games, um, they, the devs don't like they, they listen, but they're not really like trying to implement these things. These right. devs are actually really trying to get your feedback and even though sometimes they might not get it right they'll keep trying until they, yeah. they do get it right so yeah that's one of the best things about this uh they take that feedback from those focus groups and they'll yeah, actually dude. implement it you'll see it dude my focus group uh, was irl and like all the 10 other the nine ten other people they had so many great ideas because they come from different mobile games on console pc and mobile mm -hmm. so it was just a flood of sh of ideas and um dude i think they really they really like took notes and i i think we'll see it even if they implement a small percent of it percentage of it i think that'll be just great man mm-hmm um, for those in the beta, who, what modes were there? I know there was triple threat, right? Were there other modes that was tested at the time? Because me and Hitman, we're content, we're courtside content creators, and we, we we weren't part, we were not part of the beta. But I know the beta had some kind of um, interesting things in it, right? Uh, the first beta was just standard uh, ranked in uh, Dynasty. Uh, second beta, they, that's when they added the triple threat. And oh, okay. that was, I think that was just it. Was that uh, fun? And then soft, and yeah, it, that was just at the triple threat. Mm. And then the uh, soft launch was like 11 point mode, I think, but I believe. Was triple threat fun? Why did they take it off? Um, I don't know. They, they, they were just, they were just trialing, uh, trialing it out. And oh, again, okay. if people, again, the main modes were just, again, for this game is mostly 3v3 or dynasty. Yeah. So again, like people aren't going to kind of venture outside of that. And so basically, I think I think people just saw Triple Threat just a mini dynasty. So mm -hmm. it was like, why attempt trying to do that when you could just play dynasty? Yeah, and they so, never had like five five or two v two. Uh, five, when I say five five, I mean like five humans versus five humans, right? They never had. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, also, I think Triple Threat didn't have ranked to uh okay. to it. like it didn't have like a ranking system. So people were like, it's just PvP. So again, people want to play like where their rankings actually matter. Sometimes yeah. I could go into that too. Right. I think okay. that they should 100% add 2v2 ranked and 1v1 ranked because I think it might, it'll give you more things to grind and more things. 2v2 ranked will be different from 3v3 ranked completely. Oh, yeah. yeah because it'll be different metas, different. It'll just give them more things to do in the game. Mm. But however, 1v1 ranked, <laughs> I feel like it might just be Paul George's everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I don't know. Or Tatum did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or Tatum, it was just yeah, like, it'll be pretty interesting. Rough. <laughs> so you, so yeah, 2v2 could make more sense coming out earlier because I, yeah, because it's you got to be very careful. I, I feel like in the devs' perspective, they got to be very careful with what they release because it could kind of like destroy the community sometimes. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's like you got to be very picky and choosy with when to release and then also like testing it first. 
Um, the, I definitely think that 2v2 ranked would be a big, would be very nice. 2v2 ranked, yeah. There's only a 5 5 ranked and then 3v3 ranked, but unranked 1v1. Yeah. 1v1, the, yeah. How but do you? One of you hmm? It'll be complicated. Yeah. How do you guys like the club? You guys use it a lot. Uh, other than for trials, there's really no use to club right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not gonna go too hard on them about that because I know they're, they're trying to add stuff to it. But uh, yeah. like you know, every other game again, every other game I've played, club is always kind of somewhat of a prominent feature. Like there's something to do with club, even if this is like little club tournaments on the weekends or on yeah. a Friday or something like that. Just like for two hours or one hour, it's something to do. Yeah, the, yeah. The the ideas for club is is a lot. Like in the in the in my focus group, we talked about clubs for like fifteen minutes straight, and everyone had something to pitch for clubs. Like you're right, the challenges, the events with clubs, like club versus club type of deals, and mm -hmm. um, that's awesome. Dude. So like with clubs, they might want to do like if you're going against a different club, it would be like who can score the most points, who can grab the most rewards, stuff like that. Just like it would be like a competition, who could get the best stuff for the week i don't really know yeah like achievements like right do a tournament yeah achievements i feel like if you do tournaments every like it'll be relying on pe certain people being online at a certain point and i don't mm -hmm. know if that will always work mm -hmm. I, I think a good thing would be like tournament based on like assists rebounds yeah points, like yeah like regular stuff like that so that that way you don't have to be exactly online during that time but yeah now you know it'd be a good idea though like if you get like five hundred blocks, you get a free AD. Yeah. This guy. That'd be kind of cool. Or just diamond, that you know. Cool. Just, just give yeah, us like, diamonds. Yeah. 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 Not like a player, like. Yeah, like a, specific, a player as a reward. Cool. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah. you can get like. Yeah, giving player rewards would be good. I mm. feel like no, if you get five hundred blocks within a certain frame, like maybe it wouldn't be like five. Maybe a hundred blocks, one in one week or something. You get like yeah. a certain player. Yeah. But maybe not yeah. AD, but maybe like a Wemby. That'd be kind of good. Or Wemby, yeah, because oh, yeah. I feel like AD might be a little bit too up there. Yeah. If you yeah. give an epic, that's good. But like a new player that comes out, that'd be kind of Yeah, cool. a new player, yeah. Uh, speaking of players, are you guys, uh, do you guys, are you guys, um, do you guys like that other mobile, NBA mobile games they reset every year? I hate, I, I mean, uh, I play them, but I hate the fact that it, it resets. Well, I don't hate it. It's just, NBA Live Mobile's gameplay is absolute garbage, and I'm saying it with a passion. I did, the gameplay is so bad. I, I mean, everybody's begged the devs to change. If they fix their gameplay, it will be a great game. But if they're not gonna fix the Dude, gameplay, they're eight years they in, right? They're yeah, eight years in. <laughs> ridiculous. Wow. Bro, like, NBA Live Mobile's gameplay has been the same since I like I started YouTube what? because of it, and it's been I, the same. Like it makes it's no been sense. the same since I was in the. Since I was a kid playing the game, getting Wait. a Blade Griffin 81 overall, screaming uh, in my bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> um, Bro, it was so fun. Like, when the game just came out, we're like, oh my yeah, god, yeah. this is insane. Wow. Yeah. But the shot meter is also I mean, very good. I don't really good, have right? any for it, so I don't know. Mm. Would you say the shot meter out of all the other mobile fast bomb games, is this up there too? Uh, yeah, yeah, I like the shot meter. Like I mean, I well, I think that it would be very cool if you could change the shot meter. If it would give you like three options and see which one you like the best. Like the color, like change the color, yeah, the look of it. Maybe no, no, maybe. like the. I think you're talking about the actual, actual shot meter. meter. Yeah, like two K actually has like ways you can change your your shot meter. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah I, yeah yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think that would be nice. I, have you guys I like played the, the sidebar shot meter? Sorry, go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The, you mean the different shapes of the meter? Is that is that what yeah. you mean by change? Oh, okay, because yeah, yeah, some yeah. go up and down, right? Yeah, I don't yeah. like the yeah. bottom one. I, oh yeah, I that's kind of hard to. On the side. Yeah, I'm, I'm very greedy as a content creator. I'm like, I, it's hard for me to take that off in my thumbnail. I'd rather mm. have it on the side. It's so much easier. Yeah, to remove. yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, I was asking, have you guys played the three v three? Not sorry, not three v three. Three point contest uh, mode yet? I've been on the leaderboard just for the diamonds a few times, but it's not. It's they're, they're I'm very frustrating. I'm be trying different players in there. Just, right. Yeah, the, they the the meter on that's really nice, right? Would you guys agree? Like the the how there's like a meter yeah. within a meter. Because um, it shows a percent. If like, you have to hit it right on the hair, the the perfect spot in the greens in the blue or green zone to make it hundred percent. Well, you come on, well, you come on infinite, right? I'm three point contest right now to see what you mean. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, it shows the percent yeah. that pops up depending on where you release your jump shot in the blue meter. But you get like negative seventy if you get in the red, right? But oh, that's not I, how I, it is. Well, I think you like you can hold it down too. Like you can hold it. Mm. I don't know. Like, uh, I see what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. I know what you're talking um, about. Yeah, yeah. Because when you when you when you get like the green, it says like oh twenty percent bonus. Yeah, but yeah. Somewhere yeah. there's like a perfect release. So I, I don't know why it's not like with that in the um regular regular matches. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm actually, that, it's but... implemented, like, but it just doesn't show because, like, for example, like, KD's um, dominance, whenever you get a contested shot, it gives you, like, oh, it's negative 71%. Oh, yeah, and it shows that, yeah. What, yeah, it says, like, what's the percentage? So I'm yeah, like, same with Clay's, not... right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, that, would make, that, would, that would help a lot, like, because the main frustration is the, is the shot meter. It's just, like, everyone's angry about it, but I feel like the the... The name of the game is, can you get to an open spot on the court and hit a blue meter while you're wide open? Whoever, whichever team gets to that point more often in the match usually wins. It is, but I also hate the fact that I'll be open as day and like with Trey Young with a 923-pointer mm -hmm. and miss like two in a row. That doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, agreed. That oh, yeah. Well, have you definitely with like a green meter. Have you ever missed three in a row? With the, oh, two in a row is very rare. To, Blue, white open blues. Well. I feel like bro, give, give me a room. Give me. Let me see the video, bro. I don't believe it, man. Three in a row. That's. But still, like missing three in a row would be preposterous. Two in a row is already I, tough. I have videos. I was. I was. Three in a row. Basically, a ring. So. I think it was my legend game. I missed multiple threes in a row. It was mm. like getting very frustrating. Mm. I'm about to see if I can find one. Is there a, uh, we have like maybe 10 minutes before, because like tomorrow we have a uh, 1v1 tournament with NB Infinite um, that me and DM and are in, so we got to get ready for that too. But in the last like 10 minutes of their chat, like what, what frustrates you the most outside of the meter and the, let's say, uh, yeah, outside the meter thing, because that's, that's something that's going to always be tweaked and worked uh, on. You know what I mean? I hate, I hate when people make yellow, like even so, like, I'd be like, it definitely buffed. It definitely buffed. I'd be so mad when they Moderates? Make you mean like, moderate? Moderate shots? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, moderate, yeah. Sometimes, mm. like, sometimes I'd be getting like, also, I hate it whenever, like, I'm right in their face and I don't get a heavy contest. That kind of makes me mad as well. That feels like a glitch. Yeah, yeah I, I've seen that too. It happens like, yeah, to me. Yeah, no, I'm like, how? Because yeah. I'll be like, right in, let me think, like, especially like the Paul Georges. They didn't make, I swear they make like all moderates. Mm. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like the passing needs to also improve. I feel like um when you do actually do get open sometimes off ball, there you can't really react fast enough to like kind of capitalize off or punish the defense for it. Yeah, I think like it's just like a slight delay with the passing. Mm. I noticed some less. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like how it passes yeah. very slow. Yeah, I understand what you're talking about. Yeah, the passing it depends on the passing uh attribute of the player, right? Like sometimes it's faster, slower, yeah, or true. yeah. Um, do you... Anyone else? I feel, like, what you call? I feel like people that have flashy passers seem seem to pass faster. Like I've I've seen like Jokic or Lucas, like they they pass somewhat faster. Yeah, it's an, it's a ability. It actually increases the speed. Of yeah, the yeah, passing. Okay. yeah, yeah. Like like um, Lamelo's passive is, increases his passing speed by like 60, uh, 60 I think it was or twenty percent or something like that. So yeah. You want to take guesses on which legend because the next season's called Legend Awaken, right? So which 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 uh legend card do you think is coming in that's uh like in the NBA right now? In uh in the infinite. Because I think a big card's gonna come in oh. this summer, right? For season two. It has I mean it has to be called Legend Awaken for a reason. I think it's gonna be something like something like you're talking about people that's retired or like in the NBA right yeah, now. Yeah, retired. I think he means retired. Retired if he's sick. Are you, wait, is it retired or no? I don't know. I think he's right now. I feel like Legend Awaken has to mean a retired player. Maybe, yeah. I mean, maybe one. I mean, some legends I would love to see is like AI, Larry Bird. AI. Bro, that would make the most sense. He just got a statue. Yes, Bro. that would make a lot of sense. Um, let me think who else. Um, Out of everybody, it'd be like Kobe, right? Let's be honest. Kobe, Kobe. would. Yeah, I think we need a household Kobe, name as a first big Kobe card. He might be too OP to add early on, like this early on. I feel like he'll be like later on. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. a little bit later on because I feel like if you add Kobe right now, yeah, there's no way he wouldn't just dominate the floor at all times. Yeah. When was the Hall of Fame ceremony? Mm. You said when? Yeah, when was the Hall of Fame 2020? Rookie Kobe, yeah, that that sounds more doable. Rookie Kobe would be very fun. To oh yeah, they need to add more rookie cards. Yeah, thanks, Demps, for uh, for suggesting that. Yeah. And I'm guessing also, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of things, but I'm pretty sure um, Ant Man's coming this next season. And the yeah. Edward, you know, who are you hear Terry. from? Yeah, where'd you go? Uh, I just have a weird thought in my mind. Yeah, that's so weird. Um, Some people are just bringing that up I mean, randomly. He is kind of right because everybody bring it up. That's the only player that everybody bring it up. But um, if Anthony Edwards joins, I will, as soon as season two release, I will be pre ordering all of them. Mm. So, <laughs> Same. Hear me out, okay? That. Guys, Hall of Fame, the new Hall of Fame inductees was on April. It's happening in August, okay? There's August. 13 Hall of Famers. There's uh vince carter i think it was paul gasol um tony parker wait chauncey chauncey billet vince carter maybe those players maybe people who get inducted this summer that could be kind of cool we, we could see vince carter i feel like vince carter's a high chance that would be mm. cool. however and paul gasol and chauncey Billet, i feel like it'll be it'll be a little bit lower chance with them but vince carter for sure um, Vince carter is it true that there's players that can never be in a, a, a NBA mo NBA game? Like Absolutely. A, is it true? So oh, Reggie Miller is not on the list. Reggie Miller has something I learned from DRL. Um, he 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 has this thing in his contract where he cannot be used on games. Is that true? That is true. Wow. So he's not going to ever be in a game. Damn. Yeah. Like I said, like like Two K has the rights to some specific players. So for example, Kobe, MJ, LeBron. Not LeBron, I, I don't uh, think they no. I don't think they have the rights to Kobe anymore because Kobe passed away. That I don't think they can keep the rights. I think the, they can if the family agrees to resign it. Really? But Shaq, sorry, Shaq, Kobe, MJ. Rip Those are the people that crazy. work with. Yeah. So I mean, no other game can use Kobe. No. Only two Who, Who's your but dream again, player? Like, who's your? Let's go around whoever's in the room. Who's your dream player that you want um, in the game? Wait, like NBA, right. Like, wait, NBA right now. Infinite. Like, uh, retire. uh, yeah, return any at any point. Uh, okay. Uh, probably like. Besides Kobe and the MJ, that's obvious. Uh, probably. Uh, man, I can't think of none. Like, I can't think of none. All right, I'll, I'll go with mine. Oh, for um, me, for me, it's Westbrook. Westbrook. Oh, interesting. Oh, Westbrook. Oh, Dennis want Dirk. Wait. Prime Westbrook. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Westbrook, Westbrook, Westbrook throughout his whole career. His whole career. No yeah. I'll speak I, on behalf of of all the Asians and D Hit man. Yeah. I want I want Yao Ming or Jalen, bro. Yao Ming. And listen, Eddie, dude. Um, Come on, man. My yeah, issue. Want, yeah. Yeah, man. Give me an Asian player in there, man. I need some I need some uh, diversity. What do you mean? There's a, there's an Asian player in the game already. Give me Jalen a... Green. Tim Duncan would be fired this though. Tim Duncan. Tim Green's Tim agent? Duncan. Nah, it, it'd just be like abusing the bank shot. That's his. That's that's his. His. Tim uh, Duncan would be. You know what's funny? Kevin Evan... Garnett. Oh damn! Nice. Dude. I just want. I just want to play with Larry Bird in the game, but I, I just. I just want to cook people with Larry Bird, bro. Mm. Just give me Iris, I'll be happy. Old school. Yeah, old school players would be nice. I think they'll come later though. Old school players, like super, super OG. Yeah. As a Canadian, I would like to see Steve Nash. Steve Nash. He'll be a cone on defense. Facts. Have but you... He'd be great at passing. And uh, just changing topics before we... We have like five minutes, but uh, have you guys noticed new animations in the court? Or is that... Am I just crazy? No. I haven't you played have... recently. I don't know. Oh, okay. I noticed like more co different contact animation and more when the ball hits the net, like a scored bucket. That hoop I you, is no, a no, new no, animation. I've for sure seen that because mm -hmm. I promise you, I did not get stopped that much driving mm -hmm. with RJ Barrett like three days ago. Three days ago, I was dunking on like everything besides like ADs and yeah, and beads. But now it's harder to drive by people, I got right? Not by Kyrie Irving that, like earlier. Like I was, yeah, like, there's like a sideways animation. 
Like, I'm yeah. getting more blocks with players that don't have blocking badges. Yeah, very true, very true. I got a block with, um, what was it? Y'all definitely did they increase blocking. I got blocked by Drew Holiday. <laughs> I saw I Bam a with a block once, dude. <laughs> Brandon Ingram. Bam got a block? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah on the record books, he got one block. He got one block on record books, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Bam. I remember I was playing um, with a team we have voice chat on. They were like, Bam's in the paint. Just dunk on him every time. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what we say, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, uh, we, we can close out what we talk about. We can always make this a regular thing towards at the end of the stream. We'll just invite anybody, you know, after a major update or major event, you know, we'll be happy to do this again, man. Um, any yeah. any final words? Maybe uh, we'll we'll put this, uh, we'll have this edited and, and chopped up for everyone who missed the live stream to watch as a video. And like, we'll also add some of these ideas to the feedback because we, because there's like, we as a content creator, we have our feedback form that we can send. So if there's anything that, you know, we might have missed. I, I hear all the feedback, but if there's anything that you feel like, you know, you want it on the feedback list, feel free to let me know anytime, you know, same with the, even to DM. Yep. Yep. Also, who all is in this, in the tournament tomorrow? Uh, D Hitman, I'm casting it with Noob Kill, QJB. I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to say the names yet. <laughs> it's just oh. all the content creators, it's just all the Quartzite creators, man. Um, but you know, uh, if you guys ever plan on being a Quartzite creator, just just apply, man. I don't know if you guys uh, upload videos, that's really all oh, you know. No, I'm not into that YouTube, so. uh, okay. Just, just well, just well, well, just of course, when I man. Be like. 10 plus you mean you mean like ten? You may you might need like one thousand minimum followers. You know, just no, no, you don't need no, no? You just okay. Gotta constantly upload. That's it. That's all yeah, consistency. Okay, that's what I need to do because yeah. I got on my most recent TikTok I posted. I got two thousand views. So congrats. Yeah, post positive. post YouTube. Post like do both of them. Right. Do TikTok, I, do, I do do both. YouTube. I do TikTok and yeah, yeah, YouTube. Yeah. But mm. Just and, get the consistency up there. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I know we that's have. What I'm saying. I think I need to post a few more videos before I apply for it. Feel free to hey, DM me any questions if you have. If you're consecrated, feel free to DM me any question. I'll be happy to help, man. I was in your shoes years ago, and like, I was there, man. And I'm I'm just barely figuring out YouTube, so like, I'm sure that you know I'm just a centimeter ahead of um, some people who are just starting out. So don't feel you know bad. Don't feel uh, bad about asking any silly question you guys have. Um, is are are we all happy with the kind of like the card collecting like progression and ranking up with the um, game so far? Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, like it, yeah. It's not bad, right? I don't think so. I, mean, yeah. I hear a lot of people, you know. Say, you know yeah, a lot of people could play and talk about let's make it easier. Like, oh, like well, what's the yeah, whole point of progressing wanna, if you get all yeah, the gold wanna, in the beginning? Yeah, right. I don't want a whole bunch of ninety overall KDs. Yeah. Roaming around, I, like I needed to be hard for them to get certain players. Yeah, Wait, the I want progression. Them to increase the odds for gambling. That's all I want. Oh yeah, increase the odds. I'm tired of losing the 40, 50, the forty sixties. No, no, no. I lost, I lost about ten mil doing that. I stopped after that. <laughs> that was me on my Jason Tatum. I had an eighty percent chance on Brandon Ingram with like, with like, I want to say fourteen cards. I lost like at least five mil doing that, and then I had eighty percent, and it failed. I was like, "Yeah, I'm done doing this." Yeah. But yeah, no, I lost too much money. I had to stop doing that. Would you guys think that if NBA Infinite had the yearly reset, would that be a good thing? No, no, no. no. They cannot. If they do that, half the people will quit. Wow. Including me. So how would how would how would you go? Like, what would be the recommendation? Because I feel like that's kind of like what would keep it kind of balanced, almost like a rank system reset. But this is for the cards. Like, what's the middle ground? Because I thought maybe everyone besides R7s, like people with R7s, everyone goes down to like like four, three or four ranks down. Does that make sense? Like wherever they are? I, I, do, I get what you're saying, but I feel like this game is just way too expensive for people yeah. to like people people like people to have paid the money to get their cards yeah. upgraded and then for you to reset it just to like make it more balanced. Mm. I, I get what you're saying for balance people to, for balancing for new players, but like that's just kind of the name of the game. You gotta come. You can't come in the game and you know uh, be putting the same level with somebody who's been grinding for two wow. plus years. So we're keeping the. Yes, so like, prefer to keep the cards. Better players. That's what they have to do. 
Well, legacy events would be cool too. I like the legacy mm. idea that they did in NBA like, Live. I like, have like the I like the fact that with the I feel like with NBA Infinite, you can already see that they're going to be changing because they have rookie KD, rookie Curry, and rookie LeBron. So I feel like that like even once they add everybody in the NBA, it'll just be like other players, like maybe like Rocket, James Harden, or mm-hmm. OKC Westbrook, things like that. Mm. So I feel like there's always going to be something else to go for. Right. And the thing about the thing about um new seasons is people are gonna get bored of using the same card over and over again, yeah. so they're gonna be going for other cards. So. Yeah, I feel that some people are already doing feeling that boredness from playing that one yeah. player over and over again. I just yeah. sold an eighty eight Ingram I grinded for. I was Dude. probably one of the very few people who had it, but mm. I sold it because this new season's gonna come up and I'm gonna have to buy some new players. Yeah, I might sell my one of my A D cards and then Try to grind up a new player. Are you guys going to play any new characters um, outside of your normal characters for season two? Absolutely. Yeah. If anything ever like drop, I'm going to That's what. Yep. Same well, <laughs> 40 exists. Like, one, the ones that are already uh, available. I'm probably going to, like, uh, I'm probably going to sell my R7 BAM to get R3 um, AD. Like that. Then you're going to go for AD, dude. Dude, good luck, man. You know how hard it is to get 7 million, dude, for one AD? I mean, yeah. you're not gonna get him, dude. <laughs> if they buff Jamal Murray, I'll go for him. But his speed is ridiculous. It's like uh, a, it's, I don't know why he's slower than Cat. Why is a point guard slower than Cat mm, and Embiid? Mm, like that yeah. makes no sense to me. Any of you guys spend money yeah. on the game? Um, Are you guys all free yeah, to play? I, 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 no, I, no, I, like, I, I just bought the pass. I only bought the battle mm. pass, the legacy. Kind of yeah, those yeah, those are like high value. value. Yeah, first yeah. purchase too. Purchase the pass and also bought some pants. That's it. Nice. I'm assuming you guys paid a dollar as well. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. You gotta yeah. get that Everybody million, bought the dollar one. Yeah. yeah. Need, more. need more of that. Uh, yeah. Second purchase, yeah. please. Second purchase. Also, you should be like, buy the clothes with diamonds. You know what I'm yeah, yeah. yeah. Bought... Or free diamonds. Not free diamonds. Free clothes yeah. that you can grind. Clothes, That'd be yeah. dope. Yeah, very you know? nice. Oh, yeah. Well, cosmetics are coming season two, right? Yeah, that's probably yeah, related to like, clothes. Yeah. Thought, well, nah, the reason why I bought the pass, I thought the mascot was wearable. Oh, yeah, I didn't oh, read that. Would be, that. Oh, yeah, that's really? how it's broken. Like, dude. It'll be too OP. I feel it's like it would be so cool if you could wear a mascot. Yeah, that's why I was like, oh, I can wear a mascot if, if I pay just this amount of money. I was like, sure, <laughs> I'll buy it. And then when I realized the mascot was on the sideline, I was like, wow, I just yeah. I was like, I wasted the money, but then I realized how. Like good, the pass was for value. Yeah, so valuable. Yep, yep. I agree, man. Mm-hmm. The new mascots coming in too. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it. Yeah. However, with the with the um the um epic player pool, the epic player pool, that mess messed me. I had like seven. I have seventeen of these tickets just sitting here that I cannot use because <laughs> they switched it to um. Oh, the cover classic, same. Yes, yeah, that yeah. messed. I, was, I, I don't know why they swapped it, dude. That that really got me upset. Yeah, and then they put the bonus. Like, who wants the bonus? Oh, I'm mean, I don't know. <laughs> so bonus like, secretly even, good even though. Jimmy He's... Butler, like, realistically, I'm not yeah, gonna but... pay money for Jimmy Butler. Yeah, 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 I don't know. Make it not fifty gems, not as cheap as the team infinite one, but mm. like just double the price, like a hundred gems. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Saying, People dude. still buy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, lately, that those that that paid hoop draft one, his lady's been very good before Jimmy's, I think, right? Yeah, it was. Um, it was very like, good. It was Wimby. It was like, Wimby was good. Wimby. AD was, was in there. Por- it was it was Porzingis and someone else. It was a good one before. It was yeah. Porzingis it was and Kyrie. Someone... Kyrie? No, wait, no, I don't know. Um, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Don't Kyrie. You... Yeah, Kyrie and Porzingis. Oh yeah, and then Kyrie. There, there's one with Trey Young. That was great. Yeah. And Trey, yeah, Trey Young and Wimby was crazy. Yeah, that was oh, crazy. Yeah. But I mean, still though, is it really worth paying for it though? I mean, you yeah, put like the good cards, like the like it, one meal card. Like, yeah, yeah. But it might be then again, you still have to pay. You still. Yeah, pay. I, think, I, think it, I think it's really worth it for the epic cards. The epic cards. Nine hundred. You have to pay nine hundred IC for yeah. it. I it's five hundred IC. It's five hundred. It's five hundred IC. But oh yeah, t- but you have to get twenty. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, true. you have to get twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So and you know you might not even get it right because at one point I think the other one was like a Julius Randle or no De'Aaron Fox. You're like, well, I get De'Aaron yeah, Fox. You and that's ten dollars. That's a whole yeah. pass. It's, I'm not yeah. gonna buy it. Do you guys have exactly. issues when that guarantee that guarantee at twenty or thirty? I think thirty at the legendary. Like you're not even guaranteed no, actually, that one. I just tried getting, that. I get it like almost every time. So. You get the one that you wish listed for. 
no, I, with the um, what you call it with the game the changer? Hoop, with the game changers. Oh, I forgot. Which... I always get the main one. I've got in first thirty, two, right? I, yeah, I think so. I think that's. I, got I think two that was. I mean, I don't try to. I got a Luca. Okay. I got oh, two eighties no. on Luca, so. I got the one with Embiid, like. I don't know. There was something weird. Like I don't know if it was Cajun or someone else. They said that it was not always. Oh, Demps. Um, something like it's not the one you wish list for isn't guaranteed by that thirtieth poll or something. Yeah, it's, it's not, not. It's not. It's not. not. It's not. It, so it's why is there? Odd. Why is there like? Oh, it's just increased odds. Oh. Yeah, with odds. the epic. Yeah, with the epics. Yeah, I have. I struggle with the and with the luck with the oh, yeah. wish list one. Yeah. Uh, but okay. I think, like the first thirty, I I feel like it's almost guaranteed that you get your the the main character because every time I've done it, I've got it on the first thirty. It's just the second, the sixty. Like, well, maybe you don't get it. Yeah. Well, I did see uh, somebody I knew. They pulled out of the star studded pool. They pulled a Curry. I was like, wow. I pulled the I pulled yeah. the KD, and apparently KD is gonna be a. It feels like he's gonna be a. Prime oh, we need to. I, don't yeah. do what I did and sell the KD. I sold the KD for no reason. I had two, but um. Keep both the KDs because it's probably gonna go up to around seven, eight mil. Yeah, I only got one. Dead. I'm trying to get another one, dude. Mm -hmm. He's been trying to. You got the pre up? <laughs> yeah, I've been. I pre-ordered for like when... years. Uh, I'm Kenny. Not uh... Oh, oh dude. Now, now. Another seven million. Man. When did you get your like, first I... Suns KDs, uh, Ken? Bro, what my first pack opening? <laughs> I pulled a Sun KD. Global I launch. I know how rare he was. Yeah, global launch. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try to get a KD to you know R2 so I can at least get some badges. No one was selling. I was so mad. So I was like, oh, screw no, it. No, I, got it. I got a rank two KD in like a week. Oh man, bro, I could not get him. I max max put him. I would try to get Jaron Jackson. Oh, bro. I could have made so much have? like I could have made so much profit. Like I bought Trey Young, then his prices went up. Oh yeah, that's I what happened with course. me. I still have Trey yeah. Young. I wow. bought him. I saw when them. he when he didn't he didn't come out high. He was super yeah. like he just came out. He was super cheap, like four hundred k. He's now yeah. worth a mil. Yeah. But no, he is worth a mil now. And yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm going to sell him like cheap fifty k. Yeah, exactly. he's gonna sell him later happened. on though. But just like I'm just gonna keep him for now. I'm just chilling. I sure. sold mine I sold him like before his million. price went up. I'm so mad oh, about that, bro. That sucks. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know his yeah. price was gonna go up. It went from fourteen mil to. About thirty mil now for me, so yeah. Wow. So now yeah. I, I currently, if I did sell Trey Young, I will have about sixty million coins. You guys prefer yeah. Trey Young over Irving? Just wondering. Um, yeah, different players. Yeah. I think I different, think, yeah, different players. players. Yeah, two different players. Like yeah, or Booker. Two different play styles. No, not Booker. Yeah, over okay. Booker. Play Kyrie, you gotta have like a huge skill. Like yeah, like, Kyrie breaks skill, everybody's but... ankle. It doesn't matter who you mm -hmm. are. Yeah. Your ankles I get swear. snatched. With, with Kyrie, if you know how to dribble with him, it's just you can't do anything about it. It's ridiculous, and especially on the one v one court. Oh my god! Yeah, I went against Perceptor YT, and that was the first Kyrie I faced. Bro, that he's got was maxed traumatizing. Out. That was traumatizing for me. I literally, it was like eleven zero. I, I got cooked. It was so bad. Yeah, yeah. He's he's probably one of the best I've seen he's with, the tra oh, with uh, Irving. He is unguardable for yeah, sure. Yeah, because oh, okay. he's been has he can stun you too so he just yeah, does spin hezzy and then all right yeah. then trey versus lillard as demps said more a fair comparison we lillard trey, trey. trey over lillard huh trey for sure unless it's the last hey, I'm, I'm, gonna go, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna go dame i'm gonna go dame dame, dame is only dame. like dame's ability only kicks in the last 30 seconds whereas trey yeah. you can get his 12 percent boost or whatever every time he just so you literally dribble move and then shoot right away like and it, it, um, you have I'm not, to. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just gonna say for uh, Dame shooting. I think Dame slashing is pretty underrated as well. True, I agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy price, same price. They're literally the same price. Like, yeah, oh my, yeah. Dame yeah, went down. He's so undervalued. If if um Jamal Murray gets a speed buff, he might just be top three point guards in the game because if you look at his stats, they're actually kind of crazy. He, he gets Tomahawk. I would say top three. Dunks. I say top five, though. I want to say top three. He gets he gets mm. Tomahawk dunks. He gets a very, very high three-pointer. He gets good dribbling. He has great passing. He gets everything great. Mm -hmm. There's not any flaws I see in him. And exclusive like move, too. It's strong. Yeah, exclusive is good, too. But his mm. defense is not bad, either. So I don't see where a flaw is. Dang. Only flaw right now is his speed. That I think they have no choice but to buff because it's 5 all one I just wow. think the problem is that our meta, like, blocking is so strong now. Dunking does not. Unless yeah. the only person that dunks is 
is Giannis because his Euro dunk is yeah, yeah, basically yeah. unblockable. Yeah, but like, yeah, because yeah, Embiid's like the meta right now, and people are, he just blocks everything. Yeah, very true. And Anthony well, Davis, yeah. and maybe not Wemby, but Anthony Davis and Giannis too blocks everybody, right? So like, those are yeah. the meta players. So mm-hmm. even though you have good blocking, you're just gonna get blocked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, have you guys, have you guys they played quiet yet? Oh yeah, Kawhi. Yeah, I played against him. I haven't played with him though. Okay, I wonder how like it's it's just like mixed for me. Like I've seen him dominate, but I've seen him like go cold. <laughs> like it's like I've non non dominate. non-factor. I've seen him get straight up cooked. Yeah. <laughs> After this playoff run, Kawhi's gonna get above Trey. Stovey's like, yo, Kawhi's like the best player. He apparently, doesn't miss fadeaways or something like that. So. That's yeah, it, 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 it depends. I've seen. Uh, I have, I had a friend um who had a R or yeah R four Kawhi. He said he was the worst card of the game. But oh, I mean, no. um, I mean, I don't, I don't. I, was, I think Kawhi's one of those players you got to kind of get to R six, R seven to get his full potential. Mm. Yeah, but is he about, worth like, the four million? Thing, KD is going to be a problem when he gets ranked up because he gets everything in the game. He get, mm-hmm. even gets posterizers, which is crazy. Mm. Yeah, so this as long as there's more of them, I think we'll see we'll see them more played. But like so far, everyone has them like low ranked. It's hard to get on. Yeah, he, he's not that good. Like he's not as good as he's going. When he yeah. gets ranked up to rank five, like R5, he's be, yeah, yeah. When he gets R five, it's, it's over. It's be, it's and over. last question before we go, it's kind of a interesting one with the 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 best uh, guard in your opinion between these three for on your t- to have. Um, I guess you can rank them. Uh, legendary Curry. Harden or Tatum? How would you rank these three? Because these are the Tatum. best, almost like the best guards you can pick. Wait, you said wait, you said guards? Yeah, yeah. Oh, just as, was, well, well, what I mean is um, like main score on three v three. I know he's a small yeah, forward. Yeah, okay. yeah. Tatum easily. Tatum. Tatum. Tatum, Tatum over. Tatum, so why is he like one million versus like the other two cards are like quadruple their price? So weird, huh? The, 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 the thing is, the thing is about Tatum is um. The thing is about Tatum is like first because he's like one of the uh, main three team infinite cards, so yeah, that's why yeah, his card yeah. kind, of, it's kind of more inflated right now in yeah. the market. But um, Tatum's like the guard; he's basically the guard killer in this game. If you play a guard against him, he's basically yeah. he's, gonna, he's gonna he's gonna kill that guard if yeah. you don't send help. So um, he's a matchup nightmare. He's more consistent. He can shoot just as good as both of, them, um, both of them from three. Yeah, and he has yeah. uh, he can slash it. He's like a three level scorer and compared to those two, but they I feel like Curry and Harden have to work more for their shots yeah. compared to yeah. Yeah. Tatum's also got like one of the highest strength in the game. Yeah, which yeah. is yeah. crazy. Tatum's got the best exclusive like, dribble step. Like yeah. yeah, the sidestep. The side. Bro, yeah. Hezzy yeah. into a sidestep is unguardable. Yeah. 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 Sidestep, yeah. Sidestep's probably the best move in the game to get it's, open. It's like, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's so weird that yeah, he's like what affordable, like a million, dude. And he's like, yeah, the, but he's he costs so many of them. Though. Yeah, yeah, and he's played it every match, man. I do a video on like the yeah, meta match. recaps across the uh, different servers, and he's popping up everywhere, every top ten leaderboard. He's and like. He should be costing way more. Or like they should do something, like because it's it's so yeah. available. It's cheap. Like, he's one of the cheaper legendaries, right? It should be uh, at least like five mil with Curry. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how Honestly, they're gonna it, work it, that it, out. It man. would be it would be if it was less cards, but with Curry, I know there's, there's very few cards. But with Tatum, it's so many cards that his price is never probably yeah. gonna go too high up. Yeah, I don't know how they're gonna face that because it, it's so it's it's broken. He's a broken card, man. Honestly, MB is actually a very broken card if you know how to use him. Like he's a MB, high skill guy. Yes, he, no, no, he he is, but I feel like he's the more more manageable. I feel like with the Dunk Monster, that that put him over the top. But since Dunk mm-hmm. Monster has been somewhat nerfed, that's when you see people's like you can't really use him that effectively. But I feel mm-hmm. like yeah, definitely for sure. A lot of people don't really know how to use MB, but he's definitely up there mm-hmm. for sure. Like mm-hmm. top also, five. Is this he's a not the highest post in the game. Sorry, go ahead. I, was using, I was using Trey Young and one v ones against Dane. And somehow I got posterized. I don't know how. Is that a like? Dan, I, I'm not tripping. Yeah. Right, Dane does not have posterized. Right? Dane can dunk, man. He's got. He's, he's, yes, I, I, I have it on. I'm pretty sure I have it on video. Dane threw. I was on the ground. Dane did a standing dunk, and I was on the ground. Which <laughs> oh, I don't know how, but it happened. That's crazy. I think he does have. Like he doesn't have dunk monster. That's for sure. Yeah, he, he has pro dunk. Monster, or, yeah, he's he got, got pro dunk. Pro exactly. Monster, which is confusing. I didn't know you could still get like contacts without posterizer. Maybe it was a coach. Nah, nah. I don't think there's a coach that does that. 
Jeez, that would be very cool if you. Ooh, that might be a problem if you could get a coach with like post All right, and, and final uh, question. Also, also, sorry, also going back for uh to the to the guards, uh, uh, the best guards in the game. I think Steph. Um, once Steph like his price starts to go down, you're gonna see a lot of Stephs because like, if, you're, if you ever watch Joe, watch uh Stephs like Joe play, or um RK Pimp. Those two know how to use Curry. Oh, the, oh, I mean, that's dude, that's um, gonna be that's like, gonna be the meta. In yeah, next couple, in this, last, yeah next I season. think yeah, more, more, more people get gold and um, build up their curries. I think we'll see them more in the top leaderboards too. It's just Tatum's been just dominating, like so available R7s everywhere. Yeah, Tatum, yeah, Tatum and AD are just, yeah. that's, that's just a matter right I now. I can't wait till that yep. mixes up, dude. I have a video of me getting dunked on by name. I was using Jamal Murray, actually. Oh. I'm going to share it in media. It was oh, really yeah, bad. For sure. Pretty tragic. Yeah. I don't know how, but it happened. If you look mm. at the video, it's very clear that Dame definitely posterized me. <laughs> uh, final final question, just to get everyone's opinions, and we'll we'll bounce. We'll call it a night. But who deserves the right. buff? Who deserves a buff the most? I know I did a poll, and like eight hundred people voted, nah. and we got we kind of see who needs it the most. But do you guys feel like other people do need buffs? Mm, from, from, your, from your poll, just overall in the game, just. Uh, in, overall, players, yeah, it doesn't need to be in the poll. Yeah, the top three players that need a buff. Like, Go ahead, Luka, yeah. Luca need, Luca needs a serious buff. Oh, with three points, Luca's yeah. three pointer is way better than that. I feel like Kawhi. Kawhi needs a buff. Yeah, Kawhi. Oh, yeah. yeah. SGA, give me a buff for SGA. I feel like yeah. I feel like Donovan Mitchell need a buff. Like his mid range, like his mid range. I need to be a little bit higher. Yeah. I thought he had a high mid range. No. no it's not that. I don't think it's like, it's like a 75 and max. Like 10 and 50. I think so. I don't know. Do you need to buff Randall so that the card can sell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it was cool. I, I'm, I'm going to say Luca because they made him more of like a um a floor general instead of him actually being able to score. I feel like he should yeah. be a scorer first and then a pass for a second. But mm -hmm. I'm, saying, I'm saying Jamal Murray because his speed is like, it just makes no sense at all. He's slower than Cat. And he's a point guard. SGA yeah. is definitely up there. SGA. SGA. I feel yeah. like. It wouldn't be that dope, but... Yeah, okay. I, feel, yeah, I feel like SGA is just one, two, uh, he's just one, one dimensional. The Rosen too. The Rosen, I think the Rosen has some of the same problems. Yep. They're just, mm -hmm. they're just like mid range yeah. guys, yeah, and yeah. it's really yeah. hard to, um, to get up. Like get their game Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you guys say that there's some cards that are meant for like 1v1s and then 3v3s and some yeah. cards are meant for 5-5s? Yeah, yeah. Is that like, a fair SGA statement? Like, yeah, SGA dominates in the 1v1 playing. Yeah, so, it's kind of weird, SGA huh? SGA not meant for 3v3. Hmm. Yeah, like, so, like for Luka, would he... I haven't seen him in 5v5s, but you think he would dominate there? Um, no. He should, uh, right? He I should. Mean, I mean, 5v5s... Uh, I'm just really... I don't even know the game mode. Yeah, a lot of people, play, off ball, of yeah. Yeah, know, lot of people yeah. play off ball. Yeah, I know we're just all still figuring it out. I mean, we we don't have all the answers. Like we're we're still experimenting, you know, trying and failing. So I know that we'll figure itself out with um, the, as, yeah, with the new players and the the current metas. Like we're all just learning the game together. So, uh, so I I just want to um say thank you to everybody. Like we're gonna close out this year. I know it's been a long one, and um um. To everyone joining and stopping by and watching the replay, thank you guys. Uh, any final comments, like anything that you guys want to say before we get going? Mm, uh, nah. nah, all right, uh, that's bro, nice. I'm, a, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I uh, uh, hope, um, I hope they really start to up the content. I know the content is coming, but yes. I hope, I hope it's like, like consistently throughout the entire season because the seasons are really long. So, like, this yeah. season was like what a month and a half. Yeah, I hope yeah, that the, yeah. the season, like, the content is. Yeah, enough too slow to get us like, through to the next season yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Players are coming out are yeah. actually like the, i feel like the, i hope that the courts and all the content that's coming out is, is actually quality yeah and playable like that. But <laughs> I, have, I have high hopes for the game and i, and I like the yeah me too on. man the potential is there yeah man. i love it too man yeah that, i think all that there's more content that's all they need right it's right perfect and game. that could be added i mean that's not as difficult as like find the balance like the like getting all the players and finding the balances the 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 gameplay is on the foundation level like the gameplay and the core it's like so good i i really believe it yeah. and um and uh yeah uh, let's let's wrap it up here guys um thank you guys thank you again uh tomorrow tomorrow we have a 1v1 tournament i don't know it's i know it's middle of the day for some people uh but uh if you guys I'll stop by watching. yeah we'll we'll, we'll 
Yeah, I'll be casting it, and uh, D. Hitman will be in it. So, D. Hitman has zero practice on. Uh, basically, there's a one v one tournament, and there's one side, one group of content creators using one player, and the other group of content creators using a different player. And D. Hitman. Uh, oh, that's that's a part of the surprise. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. It's a surprise. Yeah, and D. Yeah, Hitman has D. Hitman has zero experience on both, so I can't wait to see how he plays. <laughs> oh, two. Eliminated. Let's go. <laughs> predictions already did. All right, guys. Uh, thank you again. If there's any feedback on this, I know this was just on the moment, you know, um, just surprise type of deal. But if we can make it a regular thing, I'll be happy to try it out again in the future. So, um, thanks, cool. thanks again, everybody. Uh, I'll disconnect from the room. Uh, feel free to disconnect anytime, and uh, I'll chat with you guys on the Discord and everything. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Have a good night, guys. Later, D. Later. Later. All right. Whew. That was fun, huh? I'm glad you guys had glad you guys had fun. Yeah, it was a lot of stuff, man. I know there's a lot of stuff on our minds, man. If you go to the official NBA Discord, like there's so many, you know, every other line. Like I'm in, I'm in here, I'm in here. You know, the community coach. I have I see everything. I see the feedback. I see the. I get feedback on stuff. I answer questions and everybody, you know, you can just tell everyone's so passionate about it. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to do my best to like, you know, uh, I'm just trying my best, man. <laughs> Whatever that means to you guys, I'm just trying my best. And even like the infinite staff is answering questions here, you know, there's all these different, just a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm a, I feel a little overwhelmed, you know, but if we're on in a good way, you know, cause there's some games that just die off in the first week, just die. Just no one, no player base, zero player base, <laughs> but somehow the important thing is that, you know, it's still fun despite what you feel about it. It's still fun and you can't, you can't make that up. You can't. You can't, um, you know, just create that out of, you can't just make that up. <laughs>